I see speech to text as an incredibly important feature, both for accessibility and general convenience. And Apple has brought some nice improvements to dictation with iOS 16. Let's take a look. The dictation processing takes place locally on the phone's neural engine. This allows whatever you're typing to remain totally private. And during WWDC, Apple briefly demonstrated how the new iOS version lets you seamlessly switch between typing and using your voice. You can then easily go back and correct previously typed text using your voice. Even on the first developer beta, I found the voice detection to be pretty accurate. It does a reasonably good job representing punctuation properly, and it's no problem to go back and edit previously written text. Very. Emojis are also recognized pretty well. Thumbs up emoji. Last year, during the Pixel 6 launch event, speech to text was a similarly major improvement. Google's Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro launched with the new Tensor chip and offer similar fluid transitions between typing and speaking. When I got my Pixel 6 Pro, I was incredibly impressed with the accuracy of the voice to text. So let's see how it compares to Apple's latest software update. To start off, I just want to see how accurate they are at different words and sentences. I think it's important to note that I'm only using an iPhone 11 here, which uses an older processor with a less powerful neural engine. The iPhone 11's A13 Bionic has a neural engine that can perform up to 6 trillion peak operations per second, while the current A15 Bionic can perform up to 15.8 trillion. So we need to keep that in mind as I compare it to the Pixel. We can try different websites like 9to5Mac.com and 9to5Google.com and some different emoji like the angry face emoji, laugh cry emoji, and heart emoji. I also think it's important to look at names as that's one of the places voice to text can really mess up. Some names like Derek, Zach, Jose, and Aaron, just to see. I also want to see how the two do while music is playing in the background. and how they deal with a little bit of that background noise. Done. Well, accuracy-wise, Google definitely still has an edge here. The first sentence on the iPhone was cut off with a period immediately after the introduction, when it should have just been a comma. And it also got a few words just totally wrong. In terms of names, while neither are necessarily incorrect, the iPhone had the correct spelling for the Zach and Aaron I'm talking about, and I talked to both of them on a regular basis. Neither the Pixel nor the iPhone got the domains quite right in the end. The Pixel added some extra spaces in there, but at first, the iPhone had 9to5Mac.com written out properly. It only changed it and made it incorrect after I finished reading the emoji and moved on to the next sentence. That's where I think some sort of indicator of the sentence that could still change would be great. The Pixel does this with the line under the section that's actively changing. I hadn't actually realized the iPhone got 9to5Mac.com wrong until I finished speaking and looked back at the full text. I had seen it while typing and thought it was fine. In daily use, so far, iOS 16's voice to text has felt more seamless. I just hit the dictation button and I'm good to go. With the Pixel's dictation, after 10 seconds of relative silence, it'll automatically stop, but that's 30 seconds on the iPhone. I definitely like having a bit more time to gather my thoughts or pause between sentences to think about what I have to say without restarting dictation. The Pixel actually cut me off the first time I was trying to show the dictation on camera. To start off, I just want to see how accurate they are at different words and sentences. I think it's important to note that I'm only using an iPhone 11 here which uses an older processor. All that said, I'd still say the Pixel's ahead of the iPhone in dictation quality, but iOS 16 narrows that gap. I've been pretty pleased with the stability of the developer beta so far, and I think that seamless dictation, however minimal time it may have gotten at the presentation, will be one of the most appreciated changes coming with iOS 16. Now, if you wanna see some more of the changes that came with the update, Miles made a video going over some other new features. And if you missed the presentation, you can catch up on everything that happened at WWDC 2022 in my recap video. 
you like this video, consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Apple content.